thank you. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm from the team VR Calligraphy. And um, yeah, we are um, four different uh, people who all have different professions. So uh, we, uh, we thought, what can an AI expert do with a VR uh, guy, do with an artist, designer guy, and uh, with a, a web developer professional? So we thought, OK, what could we do? And um, because we've been um, uh, training uh, uh, artificial intelligence called deep neural networks for um, some time now um, that is able to create art, we said we will now um, make a prototype where you can see art that has been created by artificial intelligence technologies, which is something pretty new. It hasn't been there last year, and in full VR. And you can view it in your cardboard. And our demo, it will be uh, here on your screen, so uh, what you can see. But actually, you, sh you must uh, view it uh, on the cardboard later. OK, Let's, let me show you. So. Um, uh, first example. Um, so this is a uh, noch auf den cardboard button. And this is the photo of a cave, a 360 photo. To, uh, we um, put this in the uh, VR web technologies, and it has been painted in a modern digital illustrative style. And uh, yeah, now you can view art in uh, in. <laughs> in a VR experience. Um, OK, next, artwork. We have, yeah, we have one minute. It's OK. So here's another picture. This is like a um, 360 photo of the desert painted in um, also illustrational um, modern digital art style. Uh, next one. Or here is um, it's a it's a fan work of a Van Gogh style that uh, is um, yeah it's a, it should be a city but that's really hard to hard to see really <laughs> if you don't if you don't uh, see what's what's here I, it's pretty abstract but um, let me show you the last one uh, which is um, here it's. Um, this is a style from Vincent van Gogh. So you see the ductus, probably the same in English. Yeah, the ductus of van Gogh. And it's painted uh, in a, a motif of a, a park in the summer. And yeah, it's like a new form of experiencing art. And there we are. We're finished. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So we hosted all this, and you can view it in tiny URLs, and um, you should look at it in a cardboard because this is not what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, are there questions? As a user, uh, how easily can I use it? So, if I have my 360 photography, how long does it take, and how? So, what would I need to use? So obviously, this is not a finished product yet, where you can upload your picture and it will be painted. But uh, theoretically, the, the time it takes to uh, paint a picture is two to four seconds or something. Two to two point four seconds in a moment. So we got this down. In the beginning of this year, it was over 15 minutes. <laughs> Another question? Uh, uh, automatically different kind of styles, artist style from one picture. So you can really have a VR journey through the different kind of uh, painting styles yeah, through the century. Mm -hmm. Even, even one, one artist, oh yeah. sorry, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> yeah, <you both. laughs> I'm not used to microphones. Even from one artist who has made, I mean Picasso has made maybe 20,000 artworks. Yeah. And w through all different epochs, so uh, we could uh, we could potentially make twenty thousand styles from Picasso alone, but uh, it's a very long process and it takes some time. And you have a database where where you analyze all the artists, and 
you said, okay, it's a stroke, it's a, it's a color set, it's a, it's a time period, it's what, whatever, and it's f fitted in the red? Um, no. <laughs> Easy, yeah. Does the computer who, uh, figure out, I mean, the, the cloud-based system that figure out, uh, you feed in different pictures of different styles and different epochs, and then it finds out by, by itself how to recreate this style. Yeah, the, the art, uh, or, or what kind of artwork it is, uh, this has to be uh, done by hand, yeah. So. Thank you, great. Yeah.